I'm Rick Crishfield, um, from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, and I've been working um, in the Arctic uh, over the last 20 years or so, um, doing various work, mostly with drifting platforms to collect data, and also with some bothered tethered mooring systems as well. The ice tethered profiler, or ITP as it's abbreviated, is a buoy in the fact that it, uh, it drifts on the water versus a mooring system which might be bottom tethered to the ice. But it's also kind of a buoy mooring system because it actually has seven to eight hundred meters of cable suspended below it which actually um, hangs from the surface float you know down through the ice and through the water column and basically on that long tether the instrument profiles up and down. So we have a profiler which right now is uh, outfit with temperature and conductivity sensors to measure you know, the basic properties of the ocean temperature and salinity. These units will actually drift around with the ice flow and they'll send the data via satellite, actually you know, via cell phone connection back to our laboratory at Woods Hole where we accumulate the data and put it um, on the website in near real time. When we deploy it, we set up a tripod apparatus and we drill a hole through the ice, which is about 10 inches in diameter. That uh, could basically be done the same way that ice fishermen uh, drill holes in the ice with the same apparatus, a 10 inch um, ice auger and a little jiffy motor. And so you drill the hole through the ice, we put our tripod up and we lower the mooring system down with a specially made winch apparatus. And uh, then we install the instrument and the surface float sits on top of it. It has a, a flotation device which can actually uh, maintain it in the open ocean if it breaks apart. Um, and it has the electronics package in the middle which has uh, Iridium satellite telephone um, and a GPS locationing device and batteries and the computer to talk to the instrument down below. You know, we envision putting it, you know, maybe 20 of these systems out in the Arctic, have them you know, simultaneously sending data back at any one time, and they can be distributed over the pack ice in the central Arctic to, to basically provide a snapshot of the weather of the ocean for you know, at least the next couple of years. Um, by uh, seeding it with several buoys per year, we might be able to maintain this array over a several year time period and see how things are actually changing up there. Um, most of the data we have is, is relatively old, coming back from the, you know, the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. You know, the information by itself is just so valuable for any climate studies because, I mean, if you don't have data from every decade, you know, then basically you, you, you can't have climate studies for the most part. So some of this basic data is just, just fundamentally needed for that, and, which is how it has been you know, supported so far as part of an Arctic Observatory program at the National Science Foundation. This podcast was produced by the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution with funding from the National Science Foundation. For more information, visit us on the web at polardiscovery.whoi.edu.